Hello everyone and welcome back to Spider-Man Remastered. Uh, we are here at what seems to be like the ending. We are going to go and fight Otto, I assume. And I am extremely grateful that I got the opportunity to play this game. Even though at times a lot of the mechanics I felt were quite tedious at their worst and incredibly quirky and charming at their best. I still think that this game has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, from the writing, the character, the city itself looks absolutely gorgeous, especially at night. And the swinging mechanic they have nailed. It feels so organic and it, feels, it flows so well. And I can't, I can't wait to be over with it, to be honest, because I don't want this game to overstay its welcome. So far, it has done an incredibly good job. It has kept the pace in such a perfect place. It doesn't feel like it's too overbearing, you know? So I'm going to get into it. We're going to finish this and I don't know. Let's see how I feel about that. Let's go. <sighs> we are here. Pax and Bello, head to the lab. This is Stable Control. The boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. Control, APC Tango pursuing escape prisoners. Captain, sorry I've been off the grid. Any new intel? No, we've got nothing. <coughs> oh no, she's sick too? No! All right? Yuri! I mean... I'm sick. Everyone is now. My guys all went home to be with their families. I didn't see any reason to stop them. Hey, come on. I've never known you to give up. We can do this. It'll be okay. I don't believe that anymore. I did everything I knew how to do. Come Gave on, all I had and Things just got worse. It's over. I'm going to my mom's. She's got it too. She's a widow and no one should be alone when... When... I understand. Go. Yuri, thanks for all your help. And thanks for being a friend. Aww, that is so sweet. That is absolutely... That is very sad. Warning, this is your last chance to upgrade your great abilities. Oh, this is the end, isn't it? Well, let's go. Why don't we just do it? Ah. <sighs> Okay, that's not what I looked like, but okay. <laughs> Damn. You did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. Yep. As him just said. Spider-Man needs some help from Peter Parker. He built the arms and he can defeat them. I mean, he didn't build, he helped. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. Man, I have a thing for black suits. Black and gold. It, it's not gold, but it's close to it. Sure, arm connection. Are we just going straight to the cutscene? We're going straight there. truth before they mop you off the pavement oh! Oh! tell their 
am what you did. I never. So is he talking about? Lee? Like, tell them what you did with Lee. Devil's Breath. GR27. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto. And you always will be. Damn, Gigi. What a great cutscene, eh? Hey, I don't like that smile, bitch. Be grateful, motherfucker. Give me the anti serum. Otto. You've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. But I have it your way. Ow. We don't have much time. Please. I'll turn over the anti serum when Osborne paid for his crimes. Okay. I guess I have to be careful. I guess I swing. Give me the anti serum. You've already done enough to ruin Osborne. No. There we go. He had to lose everything. Fuck you. Use that what he throws. There we go. You're wasting my time. Oh fuck. That that is annoying, isn't it? Use webs and gadgets. Okay. Well, oh, that is awesome. I'm trying to help you. Oh, God, it's always the second one that hits me. Where's the resupply? Oof! Fuck you, buddy! You're a bitch, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nope. I'm pretty good. 
I activate if you power. I can't refill my. There we go. What if I used a jizz bomb? Oh god, what are you doing, Otto? Jesus! Ow. Ow. You fucking bitch. Let me save the city. Then we can do whatever you want. I already know. Jesus. Now get out of my way before I really hurt you. All right. Oh. How much is Osborne paying you to protect him? I'm not protecting him. I'm trying to save the city. Oof. Uh, what about just bombs? There we go. Up now. It's not too late. Ah, oh, fuck. It's always a... Oh, God. Fuck you. Why do you still persist, buddy? Stop! There we go. Whoa. Oh, my web shooters! No! You knew. 
I won't let you win. This means too much to me! Not more than it means to me! <laughs> Great dialogue, jeez. No, Otto, don't do this. Can't you see all the people you're hurting? You'll never understand. You haven't suffered like I have. <laughs> Dude, the camera angle is so good. What the fuck? Bitch. Take this. Well. Goddamn cinematic as fuck. Wow. No. No. Please, think of the man you were. That man is gone. You can't save me, Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself. You were my hero. You meant so much to me. Disappointed. <laughs> that works. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it, Otto. Stop it. Wow. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man. Who can make the hardest decisions? <gasps> I couldn't agree more. Oh, that is so deep, though. Fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, no. Peter, I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn. Turn. I've worshipped you, your mind. Your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility, to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You were everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface 
perfected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it. Together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Jeez. Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy. Knowing your secret is safe with me. Mm, you fucked up. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter. Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter! That almost made me tear up. That kind of took me away. You see, uh, you saw the like skip in his face. That kind of took me away. Not gonna lie. It's still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. Don't like people wonder why is he here with Aunt May? He's not gonna do it. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I wanna see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And then what we do. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> He's not gonna do it. This is Miles Mom, Dr. Michaels.
God damn it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Oh, he's angry. Three months later. So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean... You do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Dumplings are oh, easy as fuck. Well, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. Hell yeah. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean... No, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Oh. Oh. That's it. It's finished. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, can you do you see that? Oh, that made me tear up, man. What the fuck? What a great uh sequence of cutscenes. Oh god, the impact of this this really really shows the impact of good acting. Wow, it literally felt like I played a very good uh, superhero m movie from start to finish. So, remember when I said that this game has not once overstated welcome. I'm pretty sure the developers knew when putting the side content because I have, I have voiced my opinion uh, regarding the side content before and uh, I've I voiced my opinion rather uh, loudly that I really don't like the way they approach the open world content but it never was a necessity to be honest you could just go through the story because leveling up wasn't attached to doing the side content uh, we did have a side quest but we didn't need to do all of them to level up the skill tree and that was done just by completing main missions. So they clearly had an idea and they knew that what they were doing and it was just there to provide the fluff for the open world and the reason for the player to traverse through the city, which is fair. Yeah, I, I don't have to like it, but it is fair, sure. At that time when this game was released, I'm pretty sure that was what open world development was. A very Ubisoft, because Ubisoft, I feel like Far Cry revolutionized the, the towers, the little side content, but Far Cry 3, in my opinion, did it the best way. Uh, and then people just followed suit like everybody in the gaming industry does. Uh, but that does not mean that it wasn't... I, I would rather say the open world stuff was done pretty poorly here. I really didn't enjoy much, but uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't that bad. I never had to do it. It was just, I mean, unlocking uh, suits is fun and there are people who would like to 
uh, gain their platinum trophies by 100%ing everything. I've never been one to do that. I'm, I'm somebody who never gets attached to a particular thing too much. I, I always... I've never been one of those people that, oh, this is it. I love this. Uh, and this is everything to me. So, I can... I'm not oh. an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, alright, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. I really like the fact that they are getting their time. Here. Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, oh. that's not what he's talking about, uh, isn't he? <laughs> well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. Uh. And, uh, so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. <laughs> not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty weird, right? Oh. Not that weird. Oh. That was great. A cute little scene. Oh, Jesus. So yeah, as I was saying, an absolute pleasure. Uh, there are so many things I could critique, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when uh, if the overall experience is very satisfying. And, and I'm, I'm very inherently very uh, critic. I'm a critic inherently. Uh, I do like to take things apart, but the, I do understand the value that things that even though they're not perfect, they have a value in in our life. And it was this was this wasn't that it was great, even though it had its shortcomings, it was just incredibly good. Especially the story. That's why. That's what I uh, usually have said. That if the open world, because there is an issue with open world these days, and they are they all feel too bloated. Uh, especially the, for example, we take the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, ever since they turned to the open world RPG formula. Uh, their games have increasingly become more and more uh, larger in size and more bloated. And there's so many things that they could cut out and streamline the experience, but they don't. Uh, it's quantity over quality, in my opinion. And this game was, in my opinion, very aware of that. So they didn't force the player to engage in those things uh, in case they didn't want to. And I really appreciate that fact that they decided to do it. And also kind of weird that they don't... You should put some music here. I would really have... <laughs> okay. Uh, so going to the good parts, I want to go over the positives again. Uh, the swinging felt really really great uh the, especially the using a controller with this uh you could really feel the weight of peter as he swings through uh the city it really like when you press the trigger and you feel the vibration you could feel the thought uh, in, uh, in the in the web as you swing and you go down and you catch the momentum it was done extremely well. I don't... There are a few things that they could fix in the next iteration. And I do want to... Uh, I do want to believe that they did in Miles. That sometimes the Peter gets stuck to... Or like crashes into something. And the, you lose momentum. 
maybe with miles they can you know streamline and make it a little better i'm hoping it does uh i've seen some clips of miles um uh, jumping around and there are a lot of tricks and things that you could do so i'm i'm hoping the 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 traversal is much more optimized in that but this was uh not to shy away from this one this was pretty good right uh the storytelling right if if you have a weaker gameplay right and you don't have that much of an interesting uh side uh, story and side content the main story is what carries the whole game and that is something i have noticed that is lacking in the uh, the the recent assassin's creed games uh the last game i played was odyssey and after 40 to 50 hours of gameplay i was pretty bored I was doing everything. I was doing all the conquests uh, that didn't have any weight to them because you could switch sides and there were no consequences of doing that. And the story seemed too jovial for the time period it was set in. When I, because uh, I, I like my stories pretty dark, right? Uh, I'm not, so I'm not a fan of, uh, um, people or artists taking a high fantasy story and going pretty jovial with it uh for spoken seems like that kind of story uh you're going in and making it a little jovial or uh, there are two ways you can go about it you can either go like super dark and gritty like game of thrones uh or you could go very jovial uh which is the norm these days uh, so that really takes me out of the story. And if the story is not appealing to me, I am not inclined to complete the game. And ever since Black Flag, I haven't completed a single Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I Unity is an exception. I do hear good things about the story about Unity. It's just that when it came out, I didn't have the means to play that because it was too high fidelity for the time it came out and I had nothing to play it on. I had an old dual core computer lying at home uh, with uh I don't I don't even remember how much uh like 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 MB graphics card uh, i mean imagine that a 512 and that was pretty good i think it was a gtx 550 ti uh that was pretty good at that time but uh i could not play that i hear good things about that game unity and uh there was one small syndicate they are good games because they follow the the formula that was created by Assassin's Creed, but uh, it felt like the formula that time was getting a little too stale. They were kind of slacking off at that time. So the the series after, especially after Ezio and uh, Desmond Miles, the the story uh, kind of got left uh, somewhere and everybody was kind of lost they, i felt like they didn't know what to do so uh it it made sense to reboot the series but they rebooted it in a way that i did not personally like so uh, going back coming back to again here it is uh the fact that the story was so good it was so well written uh, the acting was exceptional and the mocap on the faces was really, really good. Really good face tracking. The emotions flowed really well. I do wonder if uh, I had uh, have had the uh, other Peter, the Peter that the face was changed from. I do have seen clips of him and that Peter looks a little more emotive. I don't know, this face uh, kind of feels a little too stiff, but I can't really compare because I haven't like really got into it. But I've seen a couple of scenes and that face looked... To me, uh, the the Peter, uh, the face of the guy who did... I don't know what his name is, uh, but 
the face his face had a more kind it it was a more kind face and really suited the character uh Spider-Man was portraying here uh but nonetheless really good the story elements everything flowed well and as i said it was to the point they didn't deviate too much and how everything connected from Osborn to Lee uh was great uh coming back to the bad ones i did not mm, the combat was kind of a mix back for me uh it wasn't like overly whoa this combat is great it was kind of spammy which i get it's a uh, it is uh, what do you call a arkham I've, i've never played the arkham games i'm not much of a gamer okay i I would like to say but I haven't played too many games. That is because of the way of my upbringing. I wasn't allowed to play too many games. Uh but mm, oh again one more. Oh, are we going to see it? I knew he was in there. He has to be in there. That looked like a heart. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. Come on. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. Tell we me. We were so close. There we go. That doesn't look right. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. Does not feel right. Oh, that does not look right. Oh. I will. Is that a symbiote? I love you, son. Oh, that looks like a symbiote. Ha. Huh. Okay, I get to do side content now. Congratulations, you have finished the main story. The original engine story. Uh, first, uh, when you're going to change the time of day in research stations or start a fresh adventure with Ultimate or New Game Plus. Good luck, hero. Uh, all right. Thank you. anti oct suit has been unlocked. All right. So, as I was saying, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Uh, yeah, the gameplay. The gameplay did not feel that great to me uh it it was serviceable it, it flowed well with what we were doing but it does you know kind of it's it was okay it was okay it did what it need to be done uh done and that's fine it wasn't perfect it it could have been a little tighter um uh, but it's fine I would give it like a 6 out of 10 the gameplay. The story is a 9 9 out of 10. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you going to take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job. But we're up to it. Not What's you. that thing? For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. Oh. <laughs> What's that red you thing flo uh, flying? You did the voice. Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's mm. go. We've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider cop surveys the city, placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? Ah, so cute. Uh, so another thing that I did not really like is most of the boss fight most of the Attention boss agent, fights really felt uh, lackluster i must control. say the they felt kind of uh, i don't know i don't know uh, especially the first so i can i can count the boss fights right um it was kind of the same thing uh, you oh, you swing around 
right? And uh, you pick up things, throw, attack, go back, dodge, swing around, pick up things, throw, attack. That is 99% of the boss battles. And uh, the only battle I really, really liked was the Lee battle, which is the second battle of, uh, with Martin Lee. The first one was pretty anticlimactic. Uh, the second one was absolutely great. It felt quick. Uh, I, I I was going to say, uh, the one thing you, they could have done better is make the battles quick. But it was pretty slow. Uh, especially the enemy attack timings. If they had made it quick and more cinematic, it could have been avoided maybe a more close uh uh close quarters combat uh, like with the lee uh because he was approaching us again we were fighting and the jaw dodges looked really good and uh the swinging was so good at that specifically in that section where we had to fight the big oni uh that was really good because it felt like the the camera was forcing us to focus on the main subject and we were not getting trapped like we usually do when you're swinging around we have to move the left stick uh not is the left stick the right stick uh too much to control the camera but the camera was automatically switching to the boss and that felt great that felt necessary if they had done more of that Maybe it could have felt a little better. Uh, the fight with Otto, absolutely great. It was more of a spectacle and we needed that. It was great. So that was how you, I was saying, uh, the if you had done more close quarters fight like that uh, with uh, the camera angles, um, the quick dodges, the quick time events, even though I'm, I felt like the quick time events were pretty forgiving in this game they were almost too forgiving they didn't want us to fail in these quick time events which um okay fine i don't really care about that too much because there is an option to entirely get rid of them so clearly they didn't care about it too much either um so that is one of my complaints the boss fights felt a little too repetitive uh i mean we had variety we had different bosses but the way to tackle them was pretty re repetitive uh mj sections to be honest i was totally fine with it uh, the first time the second time it was kind of overstaying its welcome the third time when we got the opportunity to stun them it got better again because now i have a reason to not to just you know uh, run away i can just confront and get it over with which is good i really like that uh, campaign progress 80 percent uh we still have dlcs that we need to do and i am going to do them uh i really want to do them so we're gonna do that the dlcs which is very very cool um so expect uh, a separate video like i think we're gonna do i'm gonna do three more videos for the dlcs in the cat, uh, the Catwoman, the the Black Cat, not Catwoman. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, who else is that? Silver Sable. Uh, also, yeah, I would that thing. Sablanova's um, its attitude towards us changed pretty quickly, and I wanted more development between them. Uh, like. They got there too quickly, because in the last game, uh, last episode, I, I remember uh, we were almost fighting, and Peter even said, "I don't like you. You don't like me, but we gotta work together." She was like, "Oh, okay, sure." And then he got hurt, and he was like, "Oh, you can thank me by not dying." She seemed overly concerned for Spider-Man, so. I would have liked a little more interaction between these two and her coming around to Peter have, having a friendly relationship with Peter. And then we can have the scene where Peter is hurt and she takes him to feast along with Dr. Michaels. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they understood that and that is why we have the DLC. But you did fuck up by not including uh, more uh in uh, in the way of how you get there right that's okay uh, that's that um 
overall this is an absolute uh, pleasure to play uh, i would say it's a 7 out of 10 uh, a 6.5 out of 10 at worst and that doesn't mean it's a bad game my rating system is very strict and if i say it's a 7 out of 10 it's it's very worth playing uh this because I could like easily break down the story to a 9 out of 10, uh, the boss fights uh, to a 7.5 or a 7. Uh, the gameplay is um, a 6.5 something. So by average, it's kind of the side missions is a 6 out of 10 or uh, for me, especially it is the most mid uh not the gameplay, the open world stuff, uh, the 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 markers. I look at this; it's too overcrowded, even now. Now that I've done it, there are so many map markers. It's just not conducive to immersion. But yeah, so it's seven out of ten. That's what I think this game is, and it is well worth so the experience of getting into it uh so yeah uh i don't know what i'm gonna play i have i have so many games i wanted to play um i want to get into because i like so the thing is there are games that are really really because in my in this channel i only want to play games that i really want to play i don't want to i don't really care about the, the what the meta is um but there are some games that are in the meta and they're also worth playing like last of us came out uh when it first came out i will i think it was in like 2013 maybe i don't know maybe before that i think it was 2013 or 15 i don't know uh i remember i was a teenager and i watched the gameplay and i hardly remember anything and i haven't seen anything ever since i I got spoiled on Last of Us Part 2, uh, how Joel dies, but I never went in and saw the gameplay because I was too hurt, I would say, by the choice of the, uh, the direction they took. I was kind of hurt and I was thinking, um, I, was, I was listening to everybody complaining and I was myself uh was in that boat of kind of being salty about it even though i've never played the game so i have no attachment to it whatsoever but at, at that time it was the meta to hate on that game but i do want to experience the game last of us 2 came out on playstation right now ps5 but it's coming to bc so expect that game i won't be able to play god of war so so the meta is you play the big games right the, the the games that you could always say oh my first time playing this game and then there are games that are like really good games but they don't have uh the the power to attract a new audience and there are so many games that i really want to play like i was playing i am still playing uh, metro I really want to finish that, but it is something that most people don't really want to see. It is a niche thing. Uh, but I have Red Dead. I played like a few hours of Red Dead before and I never finished it. I mean, the few hours is nothing in Red Dead. I want to play Red Dead. Uh, I have uh, the Quantic Dream series. Uh, what is this? Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. That is something in terms of story games that I really want to play. Uh, I The Mass Effect series, I haven't played them. I really want to play them. Uh, Dishonored and Bioshock. Uh, these are the ones that I have my eyes on right now. If you want to see them, maybe comment something that one of... Uh, if you if you are watching this video and you want to see that i don't know if you're even made uh made to made here to even to listen to me talk about it but if something uh of that sort um interests you uh do let me know otherwise i'm just gonna play it uh, regardless because i want to play them i'll just choose something and i'm like i'll go with this uh maybe red dead uh but i before i also want to start dark souls 
with it because I finished Elden Ring and I really want to go into Dark Souls and then I want to play Neo. I really love uh, the Soulsborne genre. It feels like I, I really like to be challenged and that is one of the genres that I really, really enjoy. It is one of my absolute guilty pleasures of getting wrecked over and over again and getting back up i really like that so we're gonna do the expect three videos for this uh but not uh, like right after this i'll i'll start something and i'll come back one day and play one dlc yeah as i'm like playing something else and do the other story as i'm playing something else and yeah uh you're not gonna probably not gonna get uh the black hat stuff right after you see the final video but do let me know if the games that i mentioned one of the if you want to uh, see me play any of those before uh like because i'm gonna play all of those but which one do you want to see first you know uh so yeah absolutely a pleasure Thank you for sticking with me in this series. Uh, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Uh, also, I do wanna, I do wanna shout out, uh, yeah, Raphael, thank you for watching. Um, I've been reading your comments and thank you very much. I really appreciate that you watched it and you interacted and I the tips really really helped uh, thank you and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye